All right, here's our latest problem in the yard. <laughs> Pocket gophers. This is kind of our zen garden area that we put in when we landscaped the front yard. And the pocket gophers, which were around in the lawn before we landscaped our back, and they're making little mounds in our garden area, so that's not good. And it messes up the look, so. We don't have the lawn anymore, we have this carapia. So I don't care if they dig over here too much, as long as they don't make too many big mounds, but. So what we're gonna be doing is, we're gonna be getting a mole and gopher buzzer. And we'll put it in the ground over here in the bushes so we don't see it necessarily. Probably right over in here. And uh, that emits a buzz every 30 seconds and supposedly drives the gophers off. It seems to work in the backyard. We still have a lawn in the backyard and I've had it running probably 10 years now and we haven't had any more gophers. So get one of those and we'll see if it works out in the front. All right, so you've seen the gopher problem. We have pocket gophers. So this is my solution. It's worked well in the backyard called a mole chaser. So this mole, you can see, isn't very happy because he gets a buzzing sound every 30 seconds. So this is good against gophers. And uh, see how it works up here. So every, I see every 30 seconds, it sends a vibration sound into the ground and the moles don't like that for the gophers. And so they find a better place to live, another place to live. So it consists of this aluminum tube got a plastic tip. I think the one I have in the backyard I bought about five years ago has a metal tip, but this is the current version. It does have a metal tube, which is good. And then uh, inside, it's got the instructions and the, uh, where the batteries go. So this is where the, all the sound happens down here. And it takes a 4D battery, which I like that. Now, I don't have rechargeable D batteries. I have these uh, AA Enelute batteries, which I have a lot of those that work really well. They they last a couple weeks in this situation, but I have these uh, sleeves that go around them. So now you can put your Enelute in here, and it becomes a D battery basically. So put four of those in there, and uh, and then it'll start buzzing. So I'll, I'll, I'll get it set up and then we'll, we'll listen to it. All right, so I got three in there now and I'll put the fourth one in. So the one in the backyard has an electronic buzzer, kind of a speaker. This one uses a motor that uh, rotates and makes a grinding sound. So that's, we'll, we'll just wait till it goes off again. See, it's about every 30 seconds. Not sure why they went to this. Maybe it makes a deeper sound. It travels through the ground better, maybe. Now you hear that. Maybe the gophers don't like that. They like it even less than the buzzing sound, maybe. Hopefully this works as well as the other one. This is, the other ones work really well. So that's Try that. this into the ground. This is made of aluminum. If you just start pounding on this, this is going to deform. So The solution is to use a piece of PVC pipe. A little bit. This is a three quarter inch PVC pipe. You want good contact with the ground from the aluminum tube. Uh, you, know, you, you do want to make a hole that's too big or else it won't, uh, the sound won't transmit. So you want a hole a little bit smaller than this tube. So I'm using this th three quarter inch uh, PVC and that'll get me most of the way down. You want a little bit sticking out. And so we'll drive this into the ground using a slow hammer. And uh, then we'll pull it back out, and then we'll um, put this tube in the ground. And we're just going to tap this in, put a piece of wood on top, and just tap it in gently. We don't want to force it in and bend this, these threads on top. So, now, According to the instructions, it says it covers a third of an acre, which our yard is less than a third of an acre, and it's 13,000 square feet, so eight, 18 second intervals. So it's about 18 seconds between vibrations. Here we have an area here of maybe 300 square feet, maybe 200, something like that. That's it, maybe 200 square feet, whatever. Let me make sure they aren't digging around. All right, so I push the dirt out of the gravel out of the way to get that out of the dirt. And we're going to start driving in our pipe. The rain, it's been raining on and off for a couple weeks, so it's kind of soft. Now we do Ground gets soft to do this kind of stuff. So 
driving it most of the way because we wanted to uh, get out. Get about the same distance as this. Now we gotta get it back out. That's easier said than done. All right, so I got my Robo Grip pliers here. Yeah. Hopefully, this will get it out. Rotate it, maybe it'll come out better. I brought out a plug of soil, which is good, because I'm thought I'd, I would get in the way of uh, this thing. So I'll try putting it in there now. We'll try pushing it down just with our hands as far as we can. It's going down pretty far. Some rotation. Now we'll try tapping it in with this. Uh, scrap piece of 2x4. I don't want to use the uh, sledgehammer. I'm just going to tap it in. I don't want to destroy the top of this thing. So. A little bit more. Oh, that's pretty good. Alright, so the gravel will come back around. And it's just hiding over here in the bushes. And we'll put the batteries in and uh, put the top back on. And it's a little tricky getting the batteries in because this wants to spring out, especially with these uh, sleeves. So you got to kind of hold the ones that are in there in and then slip the last one on. And then as you push it down into the into the device, you got to make sure they don't pop out. There. Once it's in there, it's fine. And I'm going to push the open side to this side. I suppose either work 360 degrees, this side's going to be open. So. This has got a rubber gasket in it to keep the moisture out. And I haven't had any problems with the ones in the backyard anymore. Even though it's right next to the lawn with the sprinklers. I just heard it go off again, so that's good. Right now, see if it's working. We're going to push the soil back down, collapsing the gopher holes best we can I'll have to come back here later maybe take some of this dirt out and basically gravel but for now I'm just going to uh, I'm just going to step on these push the dirt back down as best we can and then if they don't show up again in a week or two and we know the gophers moved on. So, stop the video here, and we'll come back in a week or two and see if we've solved our gopher problem. All right, it's been about a week since we installed our mole buzzer, so let's unscrew and see if we can hear it. Still working. And we look over here, and we all the dirt that I pushed down is still down. So I don't see any, I don't see any other uh, mounds coming up. That's good. I think I pushed this down before. I'm just going to make sure I push it down. Alright, so after a week, so far so good. We'll come back in another week and then maybe a month. There's the buzzer again. And if it's still good, then we drove off the pocket gophers. Call it a success. Okay, it's been two weeks since we installed our gopher buzzer. And you can hear it going off right then. And it's like the gophers have not uh, done any more digging in this area, so I think it's a success. We're going to go ahead and change the batteries. So usually every couple weeks, it says if you use D batteries, they'll last uh, six months. I'm not sure if that's true. But I'm using rechargeable batteries, and you can't really get at least... Uh, widespread use widespread uh, or e easily available rechargeable batteries that I trust 
won't leak. I haven't been able to find those, so and I don't think it's worth messing with them. So I use these uh, Enolute batteries. I showed these before. So these are nickel metal hydride batteries. They're super, super reliable. They don't leak. And then you get these um, sleeves to make them into D batteries. So we're going to re replace these. It was still sounding off, of course, but we, but we, we don't want it to. Uh, we don't want it to go off or to uh, stop working, so we want to replace it before they actually run out. So every couple weeks is what, is what I try to do. Could probably last longer than that, but I'm just going to do two weeks. This particular version is a little tricky to get the bat last battery in because it wants all the batteries want to pop out. So you got to kind of put your hand over all the batteries so they don't pop out and then put the last one in. So I'm, I'm compressing the spring on the bottom here. Put this one in. Make sure it's sound. Then keep, keep your hand over the battery so they don't pop out. And then slide it back in the sleeve. Slide it back into the, into the uh, hole and hold them in so they don't pop out. Then I usually let it wait and make sure it goes off again before I close it up. I think it goes off every 20 seconds. That's enough to drive the gophers crazy. So they go away. All right, there it is. All right, so looking good. And I would give this mole, uh, I think it's, it's usually called a mole, yeah, mole chaser. Uh, I would give it a big thumbs up from Beta Signi. All right, so I got three in there now. Here's the fourth one. Put it in, it should, should buzz. <laughs> if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Post a comment if you have any questions or ideas, and I'll try to respond. That's all for now, but more videos are coming. And if you want to see them, please subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification icon if you don't want to miss one. This is Beta Signi signing out and keep looking up.